Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we will learn how to create our first test in APM Studio. So I will go to my APM Studio and although I am on Mac, you can follow this on Windows as well as on Mac. So this is APM Studio and here you can see this is the window of APM Studio and here you will find a device section or a device area. Here we can add or remove our devices and manage our devices. You will find an application area here where you can add or remove application and manage applications. And then there is a test area where you can create your test cases, you can record and play back your test cases. And at the bottom you will find a log and code area where you can see the logs and you can also see the code of your test case. So this is about the GUI of APM Studio and now we will start by adding a new device. I have connected a Android device, a real Android device on my system with a USB cable. So I have connected to my laptop and with the help of a program called Visor, you can see the device screen on the desktop. And if I go to my command line or terminal and say ADB devices, you can see the device attached and this is the device ID. ADB devices we have already learned in the earlier sessions. So I will just exit from here and now I will go to APM Studio and click on this add device button. And here you can add an Android device, an iOS device or a simulator. So I will select Android device and it has found my Android mobile device and it has given all the details here. You can also see the device ID is the same here and I will click on OK and it will add it here. So you can see this is Micromax HS2 added. This is Android version 712 and is in ready status. Now you can also see the applications available for automation and if you want to add any other application you can click from here. You can say import or sign application and then you can import from the local disk or from the device as well. So if I say from local disk, you will have to give it an APK file in case of Android or an IPA file in case of iOS. So when you work with mobile testing, you will have a APK file which is usually given by the developer team or an IPA file which is again given by the developer team that you can use to test your application or you can also get it from your mobile device. So for now I will cancel this and I'm just going to use the Chrome application which is already uh, available in the applications here. And now I will go to this test area and you will find a button to create a new test. I will click this and it will start a new test. And now you can click on this record button. You can also create commands manually. So you can just create commands here or you can go to this select command and then you can create your commands here or you can say record I will say record so that I can just create the commands quickly so you can also select your commands and all these details will be coming here that we will see in a moment so as of now I am doing recording and it will start the Android device and you can see this is here so this window is coming from APM Studio so this is not Visor or any other program but this is APM Studio so it is starting the Chrome application on my device and you can see this is this has started Google Chrome and now I should be able to record my test so I should be able to add something here I will say automation step by step and I will hit enter and you can see it has given us the results. I will do some scroll actions. So I will scroll up and down. And all this should be recorded. So you can see all this should be recorded. And now I will press this uh, back button on the mobile device. So I can also press these buttons and I will press the home button and then I will stop the recording. So you can see the stop record button here. I will click stop record and you can see all the commands are created here. So these are all the commands and you can click on any command and you can see the details here. So you can see the property value and all the details and you can in case of some elements you can find the xpath here. If you want you can also change the xpaths from here and then you can also add more commands manually so if I go here and I want to add some command I can select from here and then give the property value and details here and this will 
like this I can use it for now I'll just delete this command and this is also not required so this is our test now you can also see here at the bottom if you go to the code area you can see the code for our test and you can also see this and export this in any of these programming languages like Java with JUnit, Java with TestNG, C Sharp, Python, Ruby etc. So if I say Java with TestNG you can see this is the code and now it is also very useful that if you are creating a separate framework you can always refer the code from here suppose if you are having some issue in uh, some particular step you can record it from APM studio and you can see the code here that you can use into your automation framework so here is also a button where you can copy and then paste it anywhere so this is how you can create your test here is a play button that you can use to run your test and all these comments are here and the code is here so this is how you can create your first test in APM studio and also you can get the code that you can reuse anywhere else as well I hope this session was useful for you do subscribe to this channel to get more videos on automation testing DevOps and CI and I will meet you in the next session thank you for watching